Correct. So the AIHL uh, put out an announcement a couple of weeks ago um, that uh, Bob Turner has been uh, is is on board. As I understand, it's a it's a paid role, which is pretty huge for the AIHL. Um, it will be interesting to see what sort of scope uh, uh, or he he has to be able to do stuff. But um, I was talking with someone and uh, about Bob Turner. Bob Turner, what he was, uh, he came in to the Canberra Cannons. They they uh, used to play uh, like basketball down in down in Canberra. And when he came, they were. Um, you know, limited the place where they were playing was limited to like 80 spectators. And by the time he left, he'd grown that club, was really good with uh, sponsorship and corporate partnerships, uh, promotion. And by the time that, that he left, uh, Canberra Cannons were playing out of the AIS and getting, you know, thousands of people on average to their to their games. He was headhunted by the Sydney Kings, uh, I think back in the 90s late 90s mid to late 90s turn the kings into one of the hottest tickets in town um turn them around and um you know from the place where they were playing out of to now you can see their success now so this is this is huge for the for the AIHL um and i i think just from from the idea of someone coming in from the outside um that knows what it takes to be successful to build, uh, uh, you know, a successful kind of a program and to make money to generate revenue. Yeah, it's a massive announcement. It's really exciting to have someone like Bob Turner uh, on board with the AIHL. Um, the resume speaks for itself and hopefully um, with all the connections and things like that within industry, um, Bob can tap, tap into that as well. Um, and really help push the sport here. It's really, really exciting, and well done to the AHL for getting it over the line. Yeah, yeah, I, um, I think, uh, yeah, definitely the the AIHL have done. Uh, it's a massive coup. It's a massive coup, and I think for Bob Turner, from from the rumors I've heard, it's like, it's like this is his last challenge before you know, kind of retiring. So, a massive to get him involved in the sport. Um, yeah, it's it's really encouraging. What I what I found what I found really interesting um, in the announcement that the AIHL made, um, there was some, there was like a big, there was quotes there from from Bob, um, and he mentioned, and there's something that I always say to people when I'm talking about hockey here, and people say, oh, is there hockey here? And I say, yeah, there's hockey down at the Docklands here in Melbourne. There's national leagues and teams all over Australia. And I always say to them, if you come once, you'll come again and you'll keep coming to games because it has everything that Australians love. And I, it was something that Bob mentioned in, in the announcement. Um, he was at the, the AIHL finals um, as a guest um, of the board and he said he was blown away by skill, speed, physicality and intensity of the game. It was like watching rugby league on ice but much quicker. And it's what I always say to people and I'm so glad that Bob said it, or it was, and it was put into the announcement as well, because it's one thing that once Australians find the sport here and they see it, they'll be hooked on it. Yeah, I agree. I agree, and I think uh, Bob will be all about kind of promoting promoting the game, uh, getting it out there, so that people don't have to search for for hockey and kind of come across it by by accident. So I think it has the potential to impact not only AIHL. Uh, but you know um, all, all of all of hockey in this country.